Meanwhile, President Trump says he'd like to, to get Iran back to the table. He wants to get together for a better nuclear deal. But will his administration's tough actions, including the killing of their top general, bring actual change? Jackie DeAngelis spoke exclusively to the former crown prince of Iran, and she joins us now with more. Jackie. Good afternoon to you, Charles. That's right. I did talk to the former crown prince. Um, he has been a champion of regime change for a long time, looking for democracy and human rights within Iran. Um, he wants to see terrorism stomped out of the region. We talked about the Obama nuclear deal, certainly problematic, he said, for many reasons. He said the Trump administration's approach to uh, put maximum pressure on the regime, to implement sanctions, to take out that general, it's definitely working. But he says, remember, you're dealing with a radical regime here. They're not exactly uh, looking to destable, uh, to uh, de-escalate. They're not exactly looking to come back to the negotiating table. He says, though, that it's not military action or war that's going to bring change. It's the people themselves. Listen. The people of Iran today are on the streets by the millions. They have already spoken. It's been a street referendum on the regime. So rather than saying we want to insist continuing the same dialogue, hoping a different outcome for the, with the same regime that has proven its uh, track record and, uh, of behavior over 40 years. Isn't it time that we start helping these people by listening to them and helping them because they are part of the solution? You know, Charles, he recalled a time in Iran when it was a stabilizing force in the region. It got along with Western powers. And he wants to see the return of that. It's been 40 years of the Islamic Republic. Uh, and he thinks that this time, in 2020, it's different, that the Trump administration's support, more support coming from the international community, can help these people elicit change. They just want those basic human rights. They want a democracy. They want elections that are fair and valid. Um, the whole world is watching and we'll see what happens. All right, Jackie. Uh, it's certainly the, the needle has moved big time. I mean, we could be seeing history. Great interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll talk to you again soon.